Hi, this is Chandra. Today I'm going to talk about the Sonic Bomb Alarm Clock. So if you saw my video on the Sonic Boom, it's real easy. Sometimes I'll mess them up and I'll say bomb versus boom. The differences uh, are in the features and in the look and design. So I wanted to show you the Sonic Bomb is a little more natural. Um, I don't know if natural is the right word. It's a little more modern looking. So if you look at the Sonic Boom video, you'll see it looks like it's a million years old. Uh, it's, it's just real antique and retro looking, even though they still sell it today. So sometimes when you're working with a younger person, they've, they've, they care about the aesthetics of the alarm clock. Now, the Boom is still my favorite. It's the loudest, it has the most features. If you're not using a, a full-fledged home alert system like an Alert Master or one of the Clarity ones and you're just looking for a standalone alarm clock, I like the Boom, but there's quite a big price difference. So I wanna show you the Bomb. The Bomb has got uh, different color features. In fact, there's even one that's camouflage. So I was trying to set this up for you. One thing I didn't like is to set the time, there's a time button here. I'm gonna hold it and I can go fast or slow, but there's no difference, there's no hour and minute button. It's just cycling through the entire 24 hours. So to go to PM, which I have it on PM now, you can see by the, the dot, I had to go all the way through 12 hours fast. Now, I have the alarm. I'm gonna turn on the alarm. It's set to both vibrate and um, buzz. So features of an alarm clock for hard of hearing is one, the bed shaker, right? So you can use this or not use this, plugs into the back on its own. So most people are gonna use the bed shaker. The other feature of these alarm clocks is that they're louder than one that you can buy in the store, they tend to be louder. And then the third feature is light for, for some sensory stuff. So this one has got three little LED lights across the front but on the Sonic Boom, you can plug a lamp directly into the back and have your whole lamp flash, which gives you a little flexibility of if you've got like a bendy lamp by your bed where you can put it right over your head or you can adjust the light bulb. But the bomb, the least expensive alarm clock, there's no way to plug your lamp into this. It's got a battery backup so that if, you, if your power goes out, you can have a backup battery there so your alarm clock goes off, but there's no plug-in in the back but it is still going to give you a little bit of light features with three, three buttons. So let's um, let it go off and so you can hear how loud it is. And I don't really have much else to say about this. There's volume, there's a, a snooze button on the top where you just hit the top and you can get yourself 10 minutes of snooze. Looks like you've got up to three alarms and then you can choose to have your alarm only buzz, only vibrate, or buzz and vibrate. So I'm gonna do all of it. We're gonna leave it on buzz and vibrate. Okay, so I've got the alarm set for 2.45, and I've got the time set for one, so let me make the time go past 2.45 so we can hear it. So again, I have to press and hold the time button and then just manually go up. There's no going backwards and there's no hour versus minute separation. Uh -huh. Oh, I have the alarm set for 2.45 a.m. Okay, that's fine, we'll go all the way around. So you can see this is um, not the easiest thing to set up in the world. Got to be a little patient. See if it'll just go off when I hit 245. There you go, Sonic Bomb Alarm Clock. I hope this helps.